morning what's happening you join me just finished in the gym and today's the day we start working on the car well i'm not actually working on the car do you know what i was going to refurb my wheels myself i was waiting for a couple of nice days but it's just not happening it's baltic out it was like two degrees in march so i'm going to take it to an alloy refurbishment place they're going to turn it around in a day which is wicked i'm pretty pleased with that because i hate being left without a car um, but let me show you what we're dealing with now when it the reason why I'm getting my wheels refurbed We're going for a color change as well, which I'm not a hundred percent on But I saw a picture same car same color with the new color wheels that I'm going for so it looks all right So we'll see if mine looks as good Let me show you what we're dealing with Right as you can see here they were at one point a nice matte bronze, but now they're just terrible if i'm honest even the lug nuts awful i painted my calipers when it was still a bit warm they're filthy hopefully they'll give them a little clean for me every single wheel is just dreadful so we've got around here this one or i don't know what's happened to it the lacquer has completely failed i painted these myself about five years ago now and um, for the past two years I don't know what happened, I don't know if something got splashed on them and just rotted the lacquer. Uh, but there we go. Uh, we're going to have full colour change, I've got new lug nuts coming, so we'll see later on how she looks. Here we are in it, picking up the whip wheels have been done uh, I'm losing light and I've only got my GoPro on me so I'll probably do the reveal tomorrow but I'm here now and it don't want to film in public look like a dickhead <laughs> right it's the next day and I missed the postman so I have no new lug nuts so I'm not going to show you the wheels today so this edit just got longer which is cool, we've got some other stuff to be getting on with, little odds and sods, let me show ya. There we go, so, already painted the calipers last, that's crossed off, refurb alloys, done. Uh, some big, some small jobs, that's a service, we're gonna leave that for now, because I can't be asked. Pending, new lug nuts, wheel reveal. Uh, might do grease engine, bit dirty though in it. So today I'm going to do grease roof seals and I'll have a look at my squeaky alternator belt because it's squeaking like a bitch. So let's get to it, we've got plenty to do. Right, so first job on the agenda, degrease my engine after my VTEC solenoid gasket. Leaked everywhere. Uh, so just been for a little drive, get that engine nice and warm, get the oil flowing and then we're going to degrease it. I never used this before. Usually I, I use fairy liquids but I was in Halfords and it said engine degreaser and I thought, well, give me that, so just give it a spin. Right, so this is what we're degreasing. All that, all in there, some under there. This stuff actually works really well. Look. The oil is just pouring off the front of the engine onto the floor, but we won't talk about that. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a while and then wash it off, see what happens, but highly rated, four pound of tin. Right, next little odd job, Shin Etsu grease, I think, I don't know how you say it, Shin Etsu. Official Honda silicon lubricant. Yeah, you could use normal silicon lubricant, but I'm a purist, isn't it? I'm a purist, so this was literally 20 pound for a little tube, so it best be good. But essentially, it keeps your rubbers nice and juicy and plump, stops the water getting in, and a second-hand pair of rubbers is literally 400 pound in average condition. So I'm going to try and look after the ones I've got. Well, I don't know why I'm putting them back in the box. Uh, let's grease up them rubbers, aren't it? <laughs> So these little rubber channels, if they dry out, water starts to creep in or they crack, break, and same result, water gets in. So don't ever let your little rubber crevice go dry, innit? Make sure it's nice and lubed up. 
a little goes a long way with this Shinetsu stuff. So, although it was like 20 pound a tube, you should get quite a lot of use out of it. Filth. Don't forget your boot rubbers. Your back end needs a good lubing as well, doesn't it? Don't want a boot full of water. Top tippings, if you've got a Del Sol and your roof rattles like a bitch when you're driving along, just lube this bit up. That's where the roof makes contact with the, the locks, but this rubber bit, when it dries out, rattles crazy. Just stick a bit of lube on there, and it completely stops the rattle, so there you go. Don't say I don't teach you nothing, innit? Right, that's today's odd jobs done. I can't be asked for any more. I'm starving, so lubed up the rubbers, degreased a bit of the engine. I'm gonna come back with a little brush, use some of that again, get some of the more stubborn stains off that have been there probably 25 years. So, lug nuts hopefully arrive tomorrow, get them on, and then we'll reveal the wheel. I will reveal the wheels, yeah. Right, it is literally three days later because of Royal Mail. I've got the bolts, got my jack ready. Let's go fit and do the wheel reveal. There you have it. White wheels on a silver car. This one's nice and clean because there's drums on the back. I say clean, it's definitely dirty inside. I just whipped down to the car wash and gave her a quick going over. But within driving not even two miles, they're absolutely filthy already. So, hmm, what can you do, eh? What can you do? Anyone's got any tips for keeping white wheels white? It would be greatly appreciated I like the nuts the nuts are a massive improvement over the crappy red anodized ones much better however because I don't have center caps I've got that dirty rusty bit down there but I'm probably just gonna paint that black it'll look a bit nicer so there you have it let me know what you think I think white on silver car definitely doesn't work but we've got it now we have got it so there it is. On their own, like the quality of the work is top stuff. Done by Rapid Wheels. I'll link their socials down in the description. That caliper's gonna pop when I give it a proper clean. They'll look nice behind the red wheel, but overall, against the silver, hmm, not so sure. So there you have it, white wheels on a silver car. The internet said it shouldn't be done. And I agree, it shouldn't be done. It looks a bit naff. I'm underwhelmed if I'm perfectly honest. I had three choices, satin black, white, or one of them like bronzy, antique looking colors. I should have gone for the bronze. But you live and learn. Uh, slightly expensive, regrettable mistake, but there we are. Um, while I'm on the subject of wheels, nuts. I waited so long to get new nuts. Um, these red ones I've had on for a while don't actually fit uh, they're 60 degree tapered. If you're keeping OEM wheels, you need OEM radius ball nuts. Um, these are kind of trickier to find. If you ever search for tuna nuts, they're pretty much all gonna be 60 degree tapers. Because these are crappy aluminium, they've actually changed shape and molded. Quite dangerous, don't recommend. Get the real bolt, yeah, real ones. They'll fit better. Your wheel will be seated correctly on the hub and you won't risk your wheel folding off with that said let me know what you think of white wheels on a silver car i saw a picture of it online silver del sol but nicer alloys i thought i could pull it off evidently i can't 
is what it is. Let me know what you think of white down in the comments. Why down in the comments? Subscribe, you know, fuck it, share, share the video to other people. So yeah, look at this geyser who put white wheels in this car and it looks crap. Yeah. Bye.